stay But I don't know where to go right now And I don't know what to say I just need you to hold me down Okay, so I just I woke up about 45 minutes ago I just took a shower at this uh, Small Outside shower The first shower I've had in three days is basically a car nose, <laughs> but. So now, um, I'm gonna see if I can find some breakfast somewhere. I'm not really in the mood for cereal right now, so I'm gonna see if I can get a real meal. I didn't know I was this close to the fort the whole time. Like, I, didn't, I knew there was a fort here. I just didn't know where it was, but I was on that bridge yesterday. I was like right over there. I thought I'd come over here, but I don't know. I don't know why we gotta act like this right now. Cause I'm out the driveway, I'm down the road, and I'm switching lanes just to show you how to not take it back. But I cross the line. Fighting like this, I'ma lose my mind. Push it to the limit almost every time. Whenever someone asks, I just say we fine. It's our business, we dealing with it. Getting to the point that we can't fix it. Getting to the point that we bout to split her. Don't know who to call, don't know who to hit if I ain't standing here trying to save my face. Down on my knees, not a break for grace. Eyes red and my hands raised. What I gotta do to get a shot this young place? I'm on the fort now. Um, don't really know how to pronounce what the name of it, but here it is. So, there, there's the name. But apparently, this fort was built in like um, 1600s or something like that. Um, but I think I'm about to move on to uh, Savannah soon because don't really know what else to do in this city but um we're on the Atlantic Ocean right now and as I said yesterday the water isn't that clear at all actually it's not clear at all it's totally brown um so don't really want to swim in that um so really the only other thing to do left is just to explore the city and I've done that so I think I'm about to move on to Savannah One thing I just love about this trip is I just have um, so much freedom just to do like whatever I want because yesterday uh, I was supposed to stay the whole day in Key West and then leave um, this morning but instead I just said you know what I don't really want to do this anymore so I just left. Um, that's about what I'm about to do right now is I'm just about to be like well I'm done with this thing you know so I'm about to just move on. But, uh, I, I couldn't do that if this was like a family trip or if there was like more than one of us. So it's just something I just realized. I really like this city. I mean, it would be a really cool city to live in. Like I was in the outskirts um, last night and this morning. I saw the houses and there's just like beachfront properties just like everywhere. I mean, and it's just like such um, pretty places. It'd be a cool place to live, but to vacation, I don't know. I mean, I, I've seen it all, basically, right now. Um, I mean, there's not much more to see, you know, besides, uh, like, the, the Old Town. So something I didn't really explain is that Old Town is the name of the older part of town where the old, like, the oldest street is, where the college is, where all the old buildings are, and where the fort is, and stuff like that. So I should have said this in the last video, but whenever I say old town, that's, that's what I mean. And then, um, you know, maybe like the pier. But uh, other than that, I mean, I, I basically, I've basically done it all. Oh yeah, and the, the, and the fort thing, but I've basically done everything there is to do. Back, 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 back
Still about a couple hours from Savannah and I've been sitting in standstill traffic for about 20 minutes now um, I mean I got out of my car a few times just to, like walk around but I can't see what's happening but obviously it's pretty bad we're not even moving finally moving oh I never saw what the wreck was um, I just got past it now but it just all there was was just like four or five cop cars and then they were all just like about to pull away so I don't know what happened but obviously it was pretty bad since we were sitting there for about 45 minutes not moving so 70 miles to Savannah I made it to Savannah um, whereas I got here I came straight to a uh, Forsyth Park and um, <clears throat> But I forgot that my bike was broken because I was planning on uh, riding around. But I took my bike instead to a, a bike shop to see if I can get it fixed. And they said that they had to order the parts and take like a couple weeks. I was like, well, I need it by, you know, tonight because I'm leaving tomorrow. He's like, yeah, there's nothing I could do. So I said, okay. So I looked at the next bike shop and it was like 30 minutes away. I was like, just forget it. So I'm leaving Savannah kind of early. Um, I mean, really the only thing I could have done here was uh, run my bike around town, which would have been really cool because it's like a really nice city. It's got uh, like the downtown district or whatever is like really, really neat. There's a lot of cool different buildings, lots of stuff to look at and stuff. But since my bike is um, like broken, I can't really do anything about that. Uh, so I'm moving on. And I was just gonna spend the night here, but my mom texted me and said that, um, like one of my teachers that my mom knows, and I also had her, her daughter's boyfriend lives in Charleston, which is like two hours away, and said that I could room with him. Um, I've never met her daughter, and I've never met this guy, so I was like, Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's better than sleeping in my car, I guess. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure it's a total fine. I don't really want to stay, but I don't know where to go right now, and I don't know what to say. I just need you to hold me down and I don't really want to stay But I don't know where to go right now And I don't know what to say I just need you to hold me down Right right outside Charleston, South Carolina And I was just in um, what was I? Oh yeah, I was in uh, Savannah And that was like two hours ago So drove here after my mom told me that uh, he had like an extra room for me. So I was like, shoot, yeah, that sounds great. Um, but he lives in like a brand new neighborhood. Like I was expecting like an apartment. I'd be sleeping on like on a couch or something. But he's it's got like a whole room for you. Got like my own bathroom and everything. Like it's a lot nicer than I thought it would be, but. I'm burning at the car. Listen, baby. 